Hey guys, it's me, and I want to touch on um, just a certain topic that I have came across quite a bit. Um, I've definitely seen this topic circulating on the internet, such as YouTube, of course. Um, so I just want to just be one of the voices to kind of set things more clear when it comes to entities, okay, with your business. So when you are in business, typically someone starts off as either an LLC or a sole proprietorship. Now the difference between a sole proprietorship and an LLC, of course, is an LLC, you are assigned an EIN, which is an employer identification number through the IRS website. A sole proprietorship is still under your, your social security. So there is a huge difference. Now again, that depends on you if you wanna start off as an LLC or a sole proprietorship. I know certain states do have annual fees. I will give you one example. I am in the state of California and the state of California's annual fees for LLC is 800 a year, regardless if you're making money or not. Now, if you are a startup company, you know, a lot of the times you might not have an $800 annual fee to pay, even if your business is not making money. So what I would do is definitely start off as a sole proprietorship until you are ready to pay that annual fee. Now, there's definitely been a lot of misconception on S-Corps, corporations, and things of that sort. Now, an S-Corp, just to let you guys know, you do need to make a certain amount a year in order for you to qualify for an S-Corp. Okay, now, once your business is generating at least well over 60000 in revenue, but also more so profiting and little to, you know, there's expenses, but there is still net profit showing, okay? As long as you have the right bookkeeping, you will be good to go with doing the switch. But I will tell you in just history with working with the IRS, if your profit margins are showing well above 70% in expenses, I would just hold off to generate a little more revenue, at least up to 100K in revenue for the year to kind of even out your expense along with your net profits. Because what happens is, is a lot of the times I am seeing the IRS red flagging these types of accounts so that way they can take a look at the books to make sure that the business is running properly. So again, with entity setup, Number one, making sure that your books are done correctly. Using a proper software will definitely save a, a lot of headache with this. Number two, of course, talking with a tax professional. It can be a CPA, an accountant, um, a tax strategist, or an enrolled agent. Number three, um, just really having a full understanding of you know, your business in general and making sure that you are correctly spending what it is that you need to spend in your business in the right accounts, not your personal accounts. So that way, if it does come down to an audit, you are properly prepared.